Coming to Mr. A&T became a goal of mine. I probably would say probably freshman year when you're like an executive position on the Student Government Association. Most of the times you have to follow the agenda of the university and to, um, you know, meet specific deadlines, kind of carry yourself in a certain manner and to align your lifestyle to some of the aspects or stereotypes that the university or administration sometimes wants you to fit in with these leadership roles. I think the biggest release for me when I had to step down was to um, kind of have my own agenda and my own schedule when it came to just being a student at ANT. It allowed me to kind of just take a step back and allow me to breathe a little bit more and to kind of gain some aspects of my life and aspects of myself that I may have lost within the Mr. ANT process. Studying abroad not only allowed me to um, kind of leave the crazy year that I had in 2019, but to also just take a jump of a goal that I've always wanted to do. And because of that transition, I had a semester to take a, you know, take on that accomplishment or take on that goal. Fun! Fun! I felt like I could truly, you know, could be myself 100% and, you know, have my own schedule outside of classes, explore the world, meet new people, hang around different crowds, um, and really just maximize my own time with whatever I wanted to do and not having any prejudgment or pre-assumption going into a whole different country. If I had to do it over again and choose between the two, um, I probably would choose Mr. A and T. First home game, baby. And I think that role, that position, the experience that I gained all in one, maybe the person I am today. I think my biggest life lesson when it came to the Mr. A&T process and position was, you know, staying true to myself and knowing that my name and my character is going to always be of value to me. And you only get a certain amount of time that you do in undergrad to really accomplish some of your own individual goals and um, accomplishments. You kind of just can't take these moments for granted just to maximize, you know, every day.